All right, we're back. Video two. We're going to show you how to enter your while loop, and then we're also going to show you how to enter some commands. So the while loop is something that you're going to have to type in. So you just type the word while space parenthesis one equal equal one parenthesis. Hit enter a couple times, and you're going to enter one of these fancy. Uh, parentheses, one of these pointy ones. So you need two at the top that face this direction with this in between them. And then down here at the bottom, you need another one that faces the same direction as the last one. So two fancy ones up here with the while in between, and then two fancy ones down here. You want to, basically, what this is telling you. It's saying everything in here will be repeated. That's what the while loop is creating. So if you have a start motor, wait five seconds, stop motor, then it's just going to keep repeating that exact same program over and over. The, everything in between these parentheses, these fancy ones, gets repeated. That's what this while loop does. So, what you could do is drag an until touch in. So you simply drag that command from over here. So I'm under natural language, I'm under movement, that's where my start and stop are. I'm under wait, that's where my wait time is. If you look at the screen, it says wait an amount, wait a second, it says wait time, wait an amount of time measured in seconds. So whatever time you put in there, it'll be seconds. And then here's your until touch. So I dropped an until touch in. Now I'm going to drop in a start motor. Then I'm going to drop in a wait time. And then I will drop in a stop motor. So nothing happens until touch. So until I touch my touch switch, the robot remains motionless. The motor remains off. If you double click on these black letters right here, that's what you change. So I change, double click and I change the speed. Full speed is 127. The slowest possible speeds that'll go, I mean one's obviously the slowest, but something like, you know, 15 is really crawling at a tiny speed. Uh, so double click on speed, change that. Double click on motor port and you can type which motor you want to start. Use your arrow keys and you can just arrow down to right and hit enter. Double click on wait time, five seconds. Double click on motor port and we will be stopping the right motor because that's the one that we started. So what this program does is nothing happens until I hit the switch. Once I hit the switch, the right motor will start, it will run at speed 15, it will run for 5 seconds, and then it will stop. And then it loops back up, and I can hit the switch again to make the whole thing happen again. That's what the while loop does. So it just continuously restarts the program. So if you keep touching the switch, it'll keep running the program. you can do a lot of fancy things with these four simple uh, instructions. Start motor, stop motor, wait time, and until touch. It's all about the sequence. It's all about what order you put them in. You can program the until touch to be an on off switch if you would like. You can, you know, have, if these are two motors on a vehicle, we can make that vehicle do turns, we can make it do hard turns and soft turns based on the motor speed that we use, based on whether or not we use both motors at the same time. Um, so these are very, these are four very powerful commands and um, being creative with them, using your problem solving skills will help you, will help you uh, get the most out of them and be able to solve 
the robot problems that come next. So good luck programming your test bed and even more luck when it comes to solving the robot problems that we will be faced with at the end of this class. Thank you.